sailing more conventionally aboard ship has its appeal too. But this is no ordinary liner, nor are some of the travellers ordinary passengers. Several of them are on a business trip, and it isn't even ordinary business. This ship is a ferry, principally devoted to the transporting of commercial vehicles. She goes out from Tilbury, so it's not surprising that as she waits there for sailing time, lorries bound for overseas make their way to the docks to be put aboard. The ferry itself is based on a wartime design, adapted without much difficulty to the uses of peace. The opening doors in the bow reveal that her makers got the idea from a tank landing craft specially built to ship tanks and other ponderous war vehicles and disembark them on beaches and other places where there were no docks. No cranes needed, just drive straight into the hole. The port of destination, Antwerp. Most of the lorries carry large machinery. It's quicker to drive it straight to the place where it's wanted than to load up the cargo in Britain, unship abroad, and then transport it by land. All that loading and unloading is avoided. On schedule, the ferry ship leaves Tilbury behind, heads down the river, and is soon out to sea. After the short sea crossing, Antwerp was in sight, and unloading was as quick and simple a job as the loading was. Merely drive out as if they were leaving a garage. On most of these jobs, time is very important. Machines may have broken down, holding up large factories, perhaps involving an appreciable loss of money. But of course, however quickly they're unloaded and standing at the quayside, there is one delay which all the planning on earth can't avoid, customs. Fortunately, this wasn't a morning after, and the customs men are getting used to this kind of traffic. The rest of the way by road. From Antwerp, Belgium, it's no more than a hop, skip and a jump to Holland. And certainly there was no mistaking the scene for anything but Dutch. The destination of this particular consignment was somewhere beyond the shores of Lake Garda in northern Italy, a longish run by road, but still much quicker than the consignment would have taken by any other route. The way into Italy lay through the Brenner Pass, a route famous in history, the classic road through the Alps. And at last, after a long drive, the truck was travelling along the shores of Lake Garda, very near the end of the drive from Antwerp. Delivery of the goods was on time, thanks largely to the ferry service from Tilbury. <laughs> 